awesome. You know, we've been talking about fiesta, 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 but there's another important day today, Earth Day. It's Earth Day. Yeah. It's Earth Day. And to celebrate Earth Day, I want to celebrate the fact that we know what the Earth looks like. <laughs> and we've really only known what the Earth looks like from satellite pictures just for the last 60 years. You kind of take it for granted when you think about it. In fact, here is a look at some of the first television images from the first weather satellite called Tiros 1. Uh, it was launched into space on April 1st, 1960. And you can see it's a grainy black and white image. And according to the National Air and Space Museum, President Dwight D. Eisenhower remarked on this day that quote, the Earth doesn't look so big when you look at that curvature, end quote. And it's kind of crazy to imagine, you know, people really didn't know the curvature of the Earth up until about 60 years ago. So Tiros 1, that satellite, was only in operation for about two and a half months before it ran out of juice. But as of 2024, it still remains in orbit. It's still up there. And fast forward four years later, and this is the first complete view of the world's weather from Tiros 9 back in 1965. So very quickly we saw advances in technology and this is what the satellite looks like today. This is the GOES satellite. You can see individual clouds. Not only can you see the clouds, you can see uh, lightning, you can see dust, you can see everything and these help us to forecast and imagine what it would be like if we didn't have this capability. It's amazing that we have that.